Okay, I know that I said that I am now retired from requests nowadays, but last year B2000 Row commented on my remake of the Railway Series story Patience is a Virtue from the book Great Little Engines asking if I can do a capsule plural collection video. And I said on my, since I did showcase my Capture Plural Rex, Bert and Mike in my Tommy Trapmaster and Plural Collection video after all, so today I finally decided to do it. Also, just to be clear, my collection isn't as big as my Tommy Trapmaster and Plural Collection and Wooden Roy Collection video, but there were two items that I was, that have recently arrived, which I was needing to get so that I can do this video and we'll get on to them later so let's get this show on the road first off we have my standard gauge engines Thomas Edward without stickers this along with a along with Duncan and some other extra items that you'll be seeing soon well one, the, the ones that I got from when some of them were released in the UK. Henry with black wheels. The tender doesn't have black wheels. I just did that because I swapped that tender out for this one because the, the original one had a missing front coupler. Gordon, if the camera will focus, there you go. James, Percy, Toby, Duck, Donald, Douglas, Oliver, without his funnel. Diesel, this is the one that had... This is one of the two capsule plurals that have recently arrived today. I did have a clear metallic capsule plural diesel, but I got back in... 2016, but that one is lost. So I got that one to replace it. Clear Metallic Boko, Diesel 10, Lady, Splatter, Dodge, Salty, who I got with Boko, Spencer, a surprise face person you'll be seeing later on, and Harold. He didn't come in the listing, so I pretty much got him for free, pretty much. Emily, as well as the second new one that had recently arrived today. Spencer, clear metallic. Fergus. Bash. I don't have Dash, though. Connor. I don't have Caitlin, though. Marilyn. And Clear Metallic Rebecca. And here are my narrow gauge engines. Scarlowy. Peter Sam. Duncan without his funnel. Duke. And Victor. Up next are my miniature gauge engines. Got Rex. Mike. Bert. Blitzers 1 and 2, the Sigra of Osdale, who was originally a capture plural diesel 10 that I got off of Turtles and Thomas, the creator of Sudrian Conflict and Turtles Turtles, by the way. I know she's missing a face, but still, the reason why I made it into Sigra of Osdale was mostly because of... Mostly due to when he neglected Sleepy Henry's experience of being part of the LBGT community because he thought it was too neglected for the Tank Engine Society's brand. And that, uh, mixing with the fact that Z Mark Anthony had been doing criminal activities behind his back, which resulted in, in Tank Engine Society closing. So, yeah, after I got that. Angry Face Diesel 10 for Christmas 2021, I decided to make that into Cigarette of Arsdale, which was, I think, when I finished the model, was around the time he had deleted his channel. And up next are 
the rolling stock, coaches, trucks, and brake vans, Annie, Clarabelle, a stickerless Henrietta, three Scarlowy Rowey red coaches. One of them has a missing wheel, which for some reason I did not notice until when I was making episode 9 of season 3, Eddie and the Gnomes. Why did it take me so long to realise that? I mean, not many people made a big deal over when my original, the original footplate of my Thomas custom had a missing buffer, but still... Two blue Scarlowy Railway coaches. Two grey troublesome trucks. One light grey troublesome truck. One clear metallic orange troublesome truck. Two troublesome vans. Four fuel tankers. One of them has a broke. One of them has a destroyed coupling, by the way. Sorry about that. A little faceless grey troublesome truck. A cream cattle truck, like the one I've seen in Day of the Diesels. Hornby also made one of those as well, which was released... Which I think the Hornby model was released before Day of the Diesels was released. So, in a way, Hornby technically predicted the future in a way. Two red Alsted Castle vans, two yellow Alsted Castle vans, one fish baggage truck, and one cotton baggage truck. It could be part of the Thomas and his friends edition, but yeah. And Toad. Up next are my non rail vehicles. I've got my only figurine, the Fat Controller. Clear Metallic Harold, the Sodor Mail Van, which I got at a Toy Fair in 2019, like late 2019 to be exact, and plus, uh, I'm convinced this was part of the uh, Thomas Playroll range because it has 2006 win on it. Uh, if the camera will focus, if not, you'll have to take my word for it. Sorry, I couldn't quite get it to focus, so you're probably going to have to take my word for it. No, hold on. Uh, 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 there you go. Uh, Silver Cranky. Lucinda. The Salvage Barge. And... Beresford, who's incomplete, because there are some bits missing. I'm not really sure where they are, so you're going to have to bear with me. Now, here are my, like, OCs. Although two are from other people, and one is my original character. You've got Barry from John of the South's Barry the Engine and Friends. Dean, who is basically a... Minimum gauge version of City of Churro. Since in his debut episode, Eddie and the Gnomes, he said that he was based off of City of Churro. And a custom capsule plural Liz I made without her face. And last by no means least are my extra engines. This, like, Stickerless Thomas. Another Stickerless Thomas, which I put plasticine number one on there and the little blob of plastic which was supposed to be the lamp I also got one of these in a vending machine along with a little truck and that fuel tanker with destroyed coupling as you saw earlier surprise face Thomas clear metallic Thomas this little Wind up Thomas, I got off of Heinzer 40 along with that splatter. And I'm. I don't know which company made this one. It just says 2013 Ghislaine Thomas made in China. 
but I'm not sure if that counts or not, I just decided to include that anyway. Also, sorry he looks a bit dirty. Surprise face, Edward. 23rd, no, 2018 Henry. And the Henry Tender with the little black wheels. With no front coupling. Hence why I had to swap the Henry over there with the Henry Tender from that. Angry Gordon. Shooting Star Gordon with the angry face. Uh, this 2000 James with side rods. I kind of want to say this was part of the first wave of capsule play rail, but it has moving side rods, so it was also like that when I bought it, and I am. Um, so I'm going to assume that whoever had it before me, like, swapped the wheels out with these ones. Clear Metallic James. Tickled Pink James, which was actually the first capsule plural James I ever owned. Origins James. Uh, 2006 Percy with added, like, windows. 2014 Percy, which originally, when I, like, was trying to put the stickers on there when I first bought it, that bit wouldn't come off, so I had to stick it on there with the little, the original white bit behind it with blue tack stuck on it, but then, before I made this video, I actually managed to peel it off after six years, and, yeah. Clear Metallic Surprise Face Percy, 2016 Toby, uh, 2002 Duck, which might have been part of the Duck, Mavis and Harold edition, and an extra Spencer tender, which was from my childhood Spencer, which is broken. I mean, I still have it, but it's in pieces. And plus the face broke off when I was a kid. So yeah, that pretty much concludes my entire Capsule Plural collection. I know it's not very big compared to like my Tommy Trotmaster and Play Rail collection and my Wooden Railway collection, but there are more characters I want to get in the future, like Reneus, Handel, Rusty, Bill and Ben, and etc. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.